because there's only room for one. There's only room for one. Hey Doug, Rex Morgan here. You may remember me from college, or <clears throat> when we got together just a little while ago. I was the very handsome one, and of course the <clears throat> other one was Mark Pfeffer. Uh, and, oh, and check this out, I put on my old Is It Yesterday Already t-shirt. Uh, this one says uh, SRO. But hey, it, it fits like a glove. Uh, O.J. Simpson's glove, but, but nevertheless. Hey, Doug, we've gone out, we've gathered up some of the monkeys, and we've posed that age-old musical question to them and uh, collected their response. So here it is. Enjoy. There's only room for one. There's only room for one. You know the rest of the song by now, and there's only room for one. Love you, Doug. Because there's only room for one. There's only room for one. Hey, Doug. Joe Phillip. You know, I was thinking the other day about our time in Mask and Wig, and did you ever notice how the two of us were always cast as girls? Well, you know, it was the 70s. Time of adventure, role playing, a little gender bending. Still, you know, I can't help but wonder, did it really affect us at all? What? Doug, Alan Gordon here. I'm sort of a disagreeing with everyone in regard to there's only room for one. You and I are the only two architects, so I guess there's room for two. Uh, because there's only room for one. Um, I'm here to talk about my uh, long, illustrious relationship with uh, Doug Cohen. I'm here with my, my friend Judy. You may remember her. Um, my time uh, with Doug starts, uh, I spent some time in the attic uh, at the Cohen Homestead in uh, Chagrin Falls or Shaker Heights or uh, whatever the hell bumfuck town that was on the, uh, the great uh, tour of the uh, depressed industrial northeast during Pow Zowie Zap. Um, in fact, I, I still have my, uh, my program uh, inscribed uh, by Doug. Um, you know, and I'm reading to all the little people who made my career in mask and wig possible. Uh, love Doug. P.S. Uh, you suck. Um, it was on that tour that I got my nickname. Actually, it was uh, Doug Cohen and Dave Marcheson who gave me the uh, coveted One of the Guys Award. This is the original, uh, and I'm reading from it. Um, Dear Skippy, uh, that's the name. Um, now that you're one of the guys, we're going to give you a uh, silly, stupid nickname. Uh, love, Doug, and uh, Dave, and uh, P.S. You suck. Um, in fact, when I became a uh, clubby, um, you know, I got my commemorative mask and wig cup. You can see it right here. Uh, and Doug gave it to me, uh, trying to choke me with the uh, rosette in the bottom. Um, and actually, it's inscribed. Um, and it says, uh, Dear Skip, um, you suck. So, um, what? Oh, no. Um, why is there only one Doug Cohen? Uh, because that's enough. Because there's only room for one. There's only room for one. Hey, Doug. Jim Levi here. 
And remember back when we were in Mask and Wig and we used to do some of the most crazy things like in the dressing room and Quint Street and stuff and guys would try to make themselves, you know, look a little different down below? Yeah, well, I still got it. Yep. Yeah, let's see Paul Provenza do that. Hey folks, B-Man here. I thought I ought to check the archives and find out if, in fact, there is only room for one Doug Cohen. Uh, as you can see here in this picture from 1975, there's just about enough room right here where one Doug Cohen was superimposed between this weird guy and that blonde girl. Um, I guess it's possible that there's room for two Dougs if you have one of them lying down up here above the flat, but the stage crew would probably object. So I concur. There's only room for one. Back to you, Art. Why is there only one Doug Cohen? A question which has plagued humanity for over four minutes. We here at the International Laboratory for the Incredibly Obvious have been researching this issue, and we can tell you that there's only one Doug Cohen, basically because we're made up of 23 pairs of uh, chromosomes, roughly 30,000 genes, roughly 3 billion amino acid sequences. The chances that another person would have that exact amino acid sequence is roughly 1 times 10 to the 480,000th power, making it roughly uh, the, the, the chances are roughly uh, zero. Wait a second. There goes another one. No, that's a bird. Uh, it's a bird. There's only room for one. I gotta tell you, Doug, if there's only room for one, it's gonna be me. If there's room for two, it's gonna be me and Evan Greenspan. Room for three, it's got to be Bart Shacknow. I mean, you were pretty good with the, you know, the banjo thing, but Bart Shacknow, he was crazy good as a tap dancer. Room for four, I'm going to say Dave Shingledecker, the amiable simian. Got to have a crew guy, right? Room for five, Gary Seifert, the singing, dancing, gay Nazi. I think what we're talking about here is room for X. Let X stand for anyone who's been in the cast, crew, Band, business staff, got drunk at the bar, walked by 310. Yeah, you'd be in that group. Because there's only room for X. There's only room for X. We drink to you the toast for shitload of people. Because there's only room for X. Because there's only room for one. There's only room for one. Hey. Hello, Doug. Bonjour, mon petit pomme de frites. Greetings from the pepper farm in Cayenne. You remember, n'est-ce pas? Every day, I pick a pack. I, every day, I pick a pack of pe Every day, I pick a pack of pick. I merde, I cannot say it. But I am not bitter, mon douche de grain vinaigrette. No, I am happy, because this time, I finally get to say it. Où est la Où est la bière? Lou, why is there only one Doug Cohen? Because there's only room for one. There's only room for one. Wait a minute. There, there's 10 Doug Cohens on LinkedIn, and there are a guy who used to uh, be the uh, at work at Realms of Fantasy Magazine as a lyricist and a composer, Emmy nominated. That's very good. Uh, so there are a lot of Doug Cohens, I guess. And we have to be more specific. Why is there only one Doug Cohen in the University of Pennsylvania Mask and Wig Club? Because there's only room for one until the other guys audition, and then there might be more Doug Cohens. Who knows when that's going to happen? But there's only room for one. There's only room for one. We drink to you with a toast for two. Unless those other guys join, then it's more guys that we'll be drinking to. Doug.
Hey Doug, if you're not my favorite mask and wigger ever, then may a large rock fall on my head. Because there's only room for one. There's only room for one. Hey Doug, uh, I was a band guy, so I, I'm not really good at amusing, so I thought I would just mention a couple of things. One is, it's time after all these years, I'm, I'm going to give up the secret that I was only in Mask and Wig because of you. You were my next door neighbor my freshman year. You tried out for Mask and Wig. You came back one day and said, there's this great organization. You know what? I think they might need an out of tune tenor sax player. And I said, that was me. And I got right there. And the other thing I want to mention is a story that I tell my kids many times, and I want you to be the one who can confirm it. Penn, if you recall back then, was only about 80 or 90 percent Jewish. You live next door to a Leibowitz from New Jersey, a Cohen from Shaker Heights. I think even Bob the Slob was in your room one day. I think he was from Mars or someplace. And your roommate, Dave Barringer, walks back up from the, uh, uh, the, the cafeteria Dave was from Minnesota and had never actually met a Jew before in his life and comes into the room and says to us, guys, I was just downstairs for breakfast and I had the chewiest donut that I've ever had in my life. And I believe you had explained to him what a bagel was. That's the kind of guy you are. Uh... Hi, Doug. How are you? I uh, just wanted to tell you that we we're thinking of you, and uh, and just so you know, if you think you're bad, there are far many more people that have much worse than you. So don't don't think uh, that it's so terrible what you're going through. But, but I, I, not me. I'm I'm just fine. I'm just sitting here, you know, enjoying the morning. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. You know, so I'm like, oh, crazy, crazy, oh, God. Shank, where you at? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. What are you doing? Oh yeah. Doug, oh, Jesus. Doug, does anybody knock? Oh hey Doug, listen, um, <laughs> just thinking long and hard about you, and I just wanted to send my love, and you know. Because there's only room for one, there's only room for one, there's only room for one! What the hell does that mean anyway, only room for one? It's some kind of like elitist mantra? It's like you, you, you got your asses so big you couldn't scrunch over and make room for one more? What, what, what does that mean? Doug, Doug Cohen, holy shit did you get old? Not like me. <laughs> you want to know the secret to staying young? Come here. Come here, I'm going to tell you the secret. Never talk with a Jewish accent. Because there's only room for one. There's only room for one. Hey, Doug, Joe McCary here. I don't know if you remember. I was thinking back when I first started with Mask and Wig. I had to, I was, my job was costume mistress. It's really sort of the lowest of the low. It's, it was pretty demeaning. I wasn't really treated that well. But yeah, things have changed. 30 years have gone by. Got my own business now. Hey, asshole, you got me the wrong size. And you expect me to wear this? It looks like shit. I'm sorry, honey. I'll take care of it. I gotta go. Hi, Doug. Ron Alper here. You may remember me as the winner year after year of the Dancing Bear Award or for uttering that immortal line that brought tears to many an audience member's eye. Plant for Mrs. Calabash? And who can forget me as Miss Can Cranberries? Let's listen. Well, Doug, 
As much as I'd like to keep talking about myself or hearing Mike Myers sing about me, I've got a train to catch. So I'll see you soon, Doug. Take care. Bye. Got this train to catch, Doug. Got this little mask and wig train to catch. Choo-choo. Boop, boop. Bye, Doug. Gotta get on this train. Bye. So, Doug, I just got a call from 310 South Quince, and it's an emergency. They've completely run out of Jack Daniels. So I've decided that this is a job for Super Wigger. So I'm going to go to a nearby phone and change into my super costume. Nah. Really, nah. All right, this will have to do. Anyway, to the Wigmobile. Honest, it's a lot more impressive than it looks. Only room for one? Or maybe even two? But architecturally speaking, here in New York City, there's room for a lot more. Take a look at this. Or these. And Jim, just to set the record straight, when we got into Mask and Wig, Doug was already in the hoity-toity downstairs dressing room. He had no idea what went on in the upstairs dressing room. We were animals. Doug Cohen! There's only room for one, there's only room for one, so here's a swig of toast, a big swig, the hearts of mask and wig, there's only room for one, there's only room for one, we drink to you with toast of food, there's only room for one, hey! Uh, nice. I, 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 I. We've done our song and jig, for dear old mask and wig, it's time to say goodbye again. We hope you're satisfied and laughed until you cry. It's time to say goodbye again. We hurry back each fall to heat rehearsals call. We gladly give our all we love.